Now let's start creating a views for the article. Let's go to structure, views, add new view. We give a name called article. Type, select article. Scroll down. For display format, we select bootstrap media object. Off, views. Let's scroll down, continue and edit. Now let's go to Bootstrap website to take a look at the media object component. So we go to getbootstrap.com. Oh yeah, Bootstrap 4 is coming. That's great. Don't to be distracted. We'll continue anyway. So let's go to components. Scroll down. Click on media object. That's how the layout looks like. There's a thumbnail here. 64 times 64. We'll create an image type to cater for this, a title, and a teaser. So let's go back to our Drupal site. Let's continue. Display name. Let's give it a more descriptive name. I'll name it Media Object Fly. For article, title. I'll name it as layout media object because we are going to create different components right you can do whatever you like now we will add another two fields we need image field we need body let's add image click on image apply we don't need the label for image type, we're going to create one for it. At the moment, you can pick a um, thumbnail perhaps. Link image to the select content. Apply. So let's create an image type for the thumbnail. Let's go to configuration, media, image style. I'll open a new window. Let's go here. Add style. I will call it media object. I select scale and crop. I think that's the most basic one. 64 times 64. Exactly same like the bootstrap given. Add effect. Now let's back to our Drupal site. Views. Click one more time. Let's select. Media object. So we apply. Let's add one more. For the body, apply. We we'll don't need the label. We write result. Now we'll make it look like a teaser. We're not going to use on the top here to trim. All right. Trim this view. We give it 300. Trim only on word boundary. Yes. Add an ellipsis. Yes. We'll strip the HTML tags. And remove the white space. Great. So apply. Let's click on settings. For image view, we'll use image. Heading, we we'll use title. And body, we we'll use body. Apply. For the path, we we'll use media. Object. Apply. Now we'll create a menu. Media object. Let's make it clear. Scroll down. Create in main menu. Apply. Now let's scroll down and take a look at the preview. I think that's great. Scroll up. Let's double check. So we have title, we have format, we have all the fields here. Filter criteria, article, yes. Sort criteria by post date. Descending order, yes, great. We have path, we have menu. Assess, that's fine. We have pager here as well. I think that's great. Let's save a view. Scroll up and save. Let's view the view page. Scroll down, it looks great.
Okay, that's great. Let's resize the browser and see. Great. Let's create a views block with the same layout using media object this time and display it on the left sidebar here across all pages. Let's go back to the views. Add a block. Now mostly the same settings for display name. I will call it latest articles. Apply. Now for title, I'll change it to latest articles. Now I apply only to this block so that it will not affect other views. Apply this display. All these are the same. Scroll down. Let's change the pager. Display a specific number of items. Again, we apply to this block only. Now we display maybe three. Now we can add a more link here. Create more link. They say display more link only if there's more content. I think we'll uncheck this. We'll display this all the time so that you will link back to the views page. I will rename this more link text to plus view o. Again, apply to this block. Apply. I think that's all. Let's save it. Click save. Now let's go to the block to assign the block to the region. Structure blocks. Let's scroll down. Now I have a view article block latest articles. I will assign to primary. That's been our left sidebar. Save the blocks. Go to the front page and check it out. That's great. But I think this is too long. Let's do a bit of adjustment. Back to our view. Let's go to body. Rewrite results. Instead of 300, I will set to 50. Apply only to this block. Apply. Now save. Scroll down. It's much better now. It looks great. I'll go up here. Let's create a menu called article and put this media object under article. Let's copy main menu. Add link. Let's give it a name called articles. For the path, we use no link. There's no link needed, alright? So we show as expanded. Scroll down and save. Let's drag this media object under articles and save configuration. Let's go to front page and check it out. Articles, media object. That's great. So let's proceed. 